Do y'all think a man getting his last ass licked is gay or getting a finger in his ass by a woman is gay? A, a finger in the ass is gay. Listen, that's a right, man that's getting right. penetrated is, is just me. My personal opinion is just like, nah. Penetration on a man is this is no go. What about that, a little licky licky on the Hey listen, if that's what you like around. if you like listen, if you like a woman, if you get into that and you like a woman to do that, then by all means if a woman is doing it, that's that's not gay. It's a, it's a, it's gay has a definition now. A different definition than it originally had, but it has and that doesn't fall under the criteria of gay. You know what I'm saying? Now you can say it's gay. It's more gay as if you gotta throw your shit up. Like, now listen, listen, you, you go, you beat me to my point. Now this would be my only thing, like how how like is it a cool way to get your ass licked? <laughs> I think is it, a man, is it a manly way for you to get your ass licked right. and for you to still maintain your Bro, manhood? Bro, you ain't never been laying on the couch, right? With your ass hanging off the couch and <laughs> 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 Oh, now, listen, I wonder about man, it though. Like, think about that though. A man laying on his stomach and getting his ass spread. It. And I'll probably listen. I'll probably would really probably like get there. Like if I ever was to even yeah. think about doing, I probably would get right there. Like no, like uh, yeah, like, like think about shit. This your man. Just just like, if I, if he like, starts screaming and stuff like that, start liking it, I don't know. Shit. But so if who like, in the eye? I what if you chewed it up a little bit because you ain't getting the yeah. right angle? <laughs> 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 Yo, no, what if the nigga say, put your nose in the ass, put the nuts in your mouth? <laughs> 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 oh, we not getting up none of that. I would never look, I would never be able to do it though. Like, yeah, I would yeah. never be able to do it. Like, yeah. that shit would be It's gay. not gay though. I'm gonna tell you. If a woman look at man, look at a man's ass, not gay. I just, I just want you to tell me, like, show me. You know, show me the cool way. I'm gonna tell you the only thing that makes me curious about doing it is because I, from what I heard, mm -hmm. is that that's where me and G spot at. So why wouldn't you? I, I, everybody won't take their man to that next peak. But if I feel like I could take my nigga to the next peak by licking his ass, then you I know, might consider doing it. Some nigga, that's the next peak. But that's niggas, right. but niggas, they, listen, right, yeah, lick your ass if they give you a threesome. What? Oh. You never blown two of your bitches <laughs> over when your nigga was feeling down. You never did it. Stop cat. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You gotta lick your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Lick your ass. And lick your ass. You can't be gay if you getting your ass licked while you standing up. I don't mind Christian, though. I'm gonna tell y'all, listen, to be honest, I'm gonna tell y'all the worst. I'm gonna say something. Go ahead. Oh, because I'm like, I got. That's that airy shit. You, you know, we freak the fuck out. <laughs> that's the only way he keep making these assumptions. I don't mind having threesomes. Like, I would probably have threesomes, like, all the time. But it's just, like, to the point, I don't really want to do it with none of my close friends. Yeah, you don't want to fuck Or it's, like, I don't know how to come at bitches. Because I'll be trying bag bitches all the time. You got to be less be like, aggressive. I think that sure. you have to be more persistent with girls. And I don't have that in me. I'm used to niggas coming at me. I'm not used to going at nobody. So yeah, then when it comes really to the point where it's done. some games, she don't know how to talk to women. Yeah, listen. Wow. Yo, what's some real shit? Like, you got <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It depends on where you're going, though, too. That's another thing. Like, you got to be in the, you gotta be in the environment where that is, like, you know, that's part of the norm. Like, it was a man? couple times I thought I was in there. I was like, oh, yeah, like, what's up, yeah. shit? Like, I'm trying. You might need like, to go to where they at. The spot. Okay. I had, listen, I had one situation when I was trying to bag the girl, and the girl was on some shit. Her nigga was trying to bag me to take them home with me. I was trying to get her to come home with me. Why you ain't doing swap? I come with y'all one day. You, you <laughs> bitch, she come with us one day. That's not the question. You know niggas ain't with that. You know niggas shit they bitches. I really kind of, I wasn't with it neither, but. Actually, let me give you game. You know what you need to do? If you just get real good at whatever it is that you do on the regular, the girls is going to come to you. Just like with niggas with money and niggas with success and talent, they just yeah. come to you. Right. So yeah. you and your nigga, right, if y'all shining, you got the light <laughs> under, you know what I'm saying? Lit like big. Shit is just gonna come into the light. So that's but the, and that's exactly. another thing. It's like I don't know. Girls don't really come to me. Like I all get guys is nothing problem. Yeah. But I guess I think I might got like just this look like words though. It's like you know, like fucking look. How you yeah. be looking? Why you? Why you? Gotta, I don't you, know. She be acting like a nigga. You, oh, all right, that's funny. People say I got a look though. They everybody say I got a look. Her nigga step in. She be like, hold on. No, man. seriously, because if, the, if somebody <laughs> don't know me and they just see me walking down the street or something, they will really don't think act like a nigga. I mean. They would really think I'm mean as shit. Soft as shit. I'm just guessing. I'm okay. throwing shit at the wall. No, but she do give off that perception of, like hard. Mm. It's just a show. It is. 
No, but I no, but but don't but don't but don't get that don't get it fucked up though because that that shell that shell transforms to something else when I really get mad though. Mm-hmm. Like an armor go over top of the shell, then it's like I'm ready for war. Yeah. So you know, oh, so like, it's guys, like, they like a switch. Mm-hmm. It's crazy like you can't even see a nigga just as a nigga no more. Remember when we was kids in high oh, yeah, school, you'd be like, "That's my nigga, Ma. That's my nigga, boom, boom, boom." Now it's like, "This is my friend, Ralph. Like, okay, he does videography. This is my friend, uh, the Marcus. He's into accounting. Your homies gotta have. Niggas got a title. Is a title everything though? No, title ain't shit to me. Listen, I ain't even going front. I recall back when I was working in the hospital. I was just cleaning that bitch, but niggas thought that I was on some nurse shit because I, I used to have to wear saying. scrubs. Yeah. Like, they assume I was a nurse, but, but I was in there cleaning that bitch. Perception is everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, you just say that. But I'm going to piggyback off, right? <clears throat> it's more like this. Sometimes it's important to show rather than tell, right? Mm-hmm. You can see the nigga, he can have scrubs on, and you could think he's, you know, boom. He's showing with his outfit. Mm-hmm. Or a nigga could show by, he could look like a street nigga, but somebody pass out, he start doing CPR and shit. Right. <laughs> Two, three, you know what I mean? But it's like a lot of times the title is enough for people. Like if somebody meets mm-hmm. somebody and be like, yo, he he got bread. That's the title. This nigga got bread, so they willing to hey, y'all go through that a lot. Converse with y'all this nigga. Y'all be seeing niggas that be looking like they got the bag and shit. Mm. <laughs> bag be empty as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Perception. <laughs> nigga be having the luck. But not the yeah, man. Like anybody that's like that and they ain't showing shit, that mean they ain't got shit to show. They just you know what I'm saying? They going, they they with that fake it till you make it shit. <laughs> that, that shit, that shit don't always like that shit is, is that's a thin line. Like faking it till you make it. Like you know that applies. You know in certain areas. I agree, bro. I agree. What's more important? Is it the online life that you portray and the world can see, or is it the life that you actually live that maybe only your family can see? That's how I look at it. It depends on who we talking about, cause some people they make their money off their persona. You see what I'm saying? So they not like Tom Cruise is not gonna be what he should. I, I, would, I would assume that he, <laughs> he street might be. Yeah. <laughs> he street like, he might be a different. You know what I mean? A different guy when he come home and his daddy come home. You know what I'm saying? Like or or like Denzel when his daddy come. But when you you know what I mean? What you what you portray on screen is. Paying the bills, you see what I'm saying? Like, or that's that's not that's not, that's a bad like rappers, rap niggas. Uh-huh. You got niggas who got these like these personas where it's just like everything is street, everything is hard, everything is on you know, some gangster shit. And these niggas be teddy bears, right? Well, I'm gonna be nice guys. Some of these niggas don't even want that to even be seen. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. some of they just they it's 24 seven just street shit. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is a revolving door, just gun violence, crack sales. <laughs> Fucking murder and anything else, but they go home. Their real life ain't even like that. But that's the energy they put out because that's what's bringing them their bread. But that's the so, difference between so, real life and person. But but that's that's what I mean by. It. But what's more important? So to me, what's more important is my my real life, right? But that's just me. But I don't make my money off of being somebody else. A nigga who does might might have to balance that out. This is important, just as important as my real life because this shit is making us millions of dollars. When I'm speaking, I can't necessarily speak for me. I gotta speak for what I see. And what I see yeah. is a bunch of fake motherfuckers who's, who's making millions off of being fake. Right, right, right. So, wow, look at actor. He's mm-hmm. making millions of dollars off of, it's like, entertainment. he got four movies back to back. They all, like, it's a, it's a what is it? that's not even a trilogy. Whatever that shit is called, right? Mm-hmm. Of him being this cop. Who like you know what I mean? Who's like can fight a hundred niggas and get into a hundred shootouts, dodge bullets and shit, but <laughs> action star and shit, but use a pussy in real life. But that, you know what that's mean? how I see it. I see it like if it was like still in the two, if it was still 1990, a mm-hmm. nigga could be a, a gangster on the music video when he drop his album, when he do press, when he on uh, radio, but you never see the nigga again. Now. Yeah. We got one line and it's a part of your life. A nigga can't hide his real personality if he wanted to. Actually, maybe he can. Shit. Maybe he can. These but I think now it's more of a balance. I Cause think this our talent. Talent. This our shit. Real shit. These niggas are adjusting well. Like they look everything that they allow you to see. That's why when they got these videos contrast to their real life, such and such exposed. You can't expose a real nigga. Mm-hmm. How do you do that? If somebody is is real all across the board, how do you expose them? They've already done it to themselves. They thought they've already exposed enough of themselves where, where you can't bring up some shit out. You can't bring they, some little secret out the closet. You can't, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know a what? motherfucker who got their real switch on 24-7, you can't expose them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But most people, shit, the vast majority, they live in, in a false reality. You know what I'm saying? That's why online is so popular. You get to be whoever the fuck you want to be. You get to look however you want to look. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, how you want to present nah, yourself? Real shit. And you cut that camera off, you, you're not that person in real life. Of course, nobody is getting online posting up the most fucked up pictures of this stuff. That would kind of damn near, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, who's doing that? Nobody's like, yo, catch me with the hole in the sock. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. Like, no, that, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't realistic. That's yeah. what I, I mean? think. I think there got to be a balance. It's like, see, you, you are authentic bull. So it's like, I don't know well, if you, you see the value yeah. in the, on, the yeah. online shit, but this is what I think, right? So imagine this a time that's worse than the pandemic. We really in the house. You cannot come out the house. You know it's going to thrive in that. The people were able to adapt and also have an online life, but not a fake ass life. Mm. But you gotta have a life on the net yeah. and a life here, cause you could be the realest nigga that is not on the net, but nobody gonna mm -hmm. know you except the niggas who know you. So it's like it gotta be like a fine balance. Yeah, but yo, being real is just that. Like we gotta, like being real don't mean you gotta do all this astronomical ass. You ain't gotta go out your way to be real. Just be you. Being real is being you. Mm. Whoever you are. Be that. Yeah. If we see something different when we meet you, and you've been in our faces for a decade, like, come on. That means you went out your way. Because at some point, we should have got the real you. Or a nigga will dumb himself down because using big words ain't cool. Mm. You understand what I'm also, saying? Also, like, niggas need to know. That's why I said If, if you like, say you a smart nigga, remember that whole John, oh, if you smart, you weird or whatever. It's like, yeah, y'all niggas, like, niggas need to stop thinking you're going to be this if you show off a part of your character. It's yeah, like, that's bro, a problem, though, like, you're going to shine hard as shit when you show your character because that's what separates you. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, if you're a street nigga and you articulate now. like T.I., yeah. You're going to be an expeditiously thorough nigga for the rest of your niggas life. Niggas are scared probably, to get you know made fun of, though. <laughs> like, we grew up making fun of each other. Like, we I grew up, we got thick skin, so a nigga be scared to talk how he really talk. And he'd be, the whole time, he just go out his, every other word is incurred. Like, but when you really hear them naturally speak, it's like, yeah, man, you know, I just, you know. My old man, they, you know what I mean, vocabulary through the roof. It'd take a situation for you to, you'd be like, damn, dog, I know you are. Yeah. It'd take a situation for you to know that your man mm -hmm. has a has a, a vast vocabulary. Like, why? Why does it take, like, for y'all to be in a, <laughs> why don't your man know this? You could be putting your man on something. Like, you know what I mean? Opening his, like, I incorporate different shit in my vocabulary. I hear a new word. Oh, my, I love that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, I, I be laughing, make a joke probably, but I write that shit down. Like, all right, hold up. Fuck you just saying. Right. Yeah, now I gotta start using oh, that shit. shit. Yeah, yeah I, love, I love that shit, man. Like, but we, man, listen, we grew up. This nigga, you could come in here with the fly shit on. My my nigga, niggas, we, nigga I grew up with, like, they don't give a fuck about nothing. They'll find something to kill you about. I don't give a fuck. I fly you thought you was when you came outside. That's why, that's <laughs> why I was kill like, you. Just that's why I was like, I feel like yeah, I can like, with the internet. They were like, I got bust on. My brother was the master buster. Like, yeah, so it was like, like, yeah, I got like, like somebody yeah, probably done said the most anything to me. And look, I know how I bust can't even back. Say shit like that so now, just right? know, I'm busting back. Like, oh. just know, I'm coming right back at you. Like, I know how I bust you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Most girls Bro, don't know how to bust. I know how I bust. Like, my brother was master bust. Like, I'm coming right back at you. You ain't even going to expect it. Like, oh, it's like it's in oh, your right. My bad. See you. It's like it's in your jeans. It's it's like it's real shit. I learned from the best. Go ahead. Go ahead and try it. You know what? <laughs> no, y'all spitting facts because that's why I'm in high school, right? Nigga, I'm not even, I'm. y'all know me. I'm a nice guy. I'm truly a nice guy. Like, if a nigga try, if it's some trouble with me, it's, it's like, damn. How to get there. <laughs> How to get there. But look, in high school, right, if a nigga used to try and bust on me, it would instantly turn into a street nigga. Because I ain't had no sense of humor at this time. I ain't had no sense of humor. I'm playing, I'm playing Pokemon pause, and, home and playing football and shit. So look, niggas used to be, niggas say something in the hallway. I'm like, look, I don't do all that busting shit, bro. It just got to be what it got to be. Whatever it's about to be, it got to be that. And it's like, I'm not even like that. But once, once I learn how to... So I you know how to joke. Once yeah. I learn how to joke back, yeah, man. Let's get rid of the busted word. That's gonna kill me at the same time. <laughs> he about to bust the whole clip. Like you trying to get this clip? Like you want it? I got it ready. Roast session. I'll be yeah. wondering why people get to a certain point in their life and want to do dumb stuff. Like I was like, I was never about to be getting all this money and I'm about to be riding around the ops block or committing a murder. No, I'm going to pay somebody to do that. I'm not some niggas can't that. shake that. If some niggas come in the game like that, some niggas be having, a, they be having a hard time. Yeah, that's a fact. Like, I'm not, 
I wish I would fight the somebody. Way niggas are gonna, I will pay somebody to trash somebody. I'm not doing all that. You could pay someone to trash somebody, not, not to kill you somebody out here. You get, you get both. Some niggas had trouble like you get both. Just associating yourself with that life. Like if they really lived that shit prior to making millions of dollars, they don't register. Millions of dollars just gave them an upper hand over whoever they had issues. Instead of like thinking like I'm up, you know what I mean? I'm in the best position of my life. I can really stay away from that shit. Some niggas indulge more in that shit the more money they get. They Cause they still care people. about it. They wanna it's build that shit too. And it's like it's like either way. It's like either way if you commit Not it's something like you case, said. Just like like you said, it's like you gonna get booked for that. Either way you gotta look at it. You're putting somebody else in in in, in the stuff because you in a car with you and somebody else, and then y'all do something to somebody else. That's already putting somebody. I'm gonna take my chances with. I'm gonna take me personally. I would take my chances with not being there and not doing it, and just you know what I'm saying. I just me personally. But when I don't, I don't know why know, people put themselves in. I don't even know the situation. It, it could it could have happened in passing. You yeah, know what it could have just situation happened right then and there. Off and shit. You know and what I mean? That shit just and went that. down to anything. Stuff hit social media first, so that means we already mm. gonna start getting false news. And first of all, the the news always give you false news. But I don't be believing none of that stuff. Because everybody wanna be the first. You know what I'm saying? With the story. Like who your sources? Like where did you even get this? from like why That's am i even friend. listening to you like who are you a blogger like do you, you know them they be like uh, in the streets of chirac was you in a car no in the streets of chirac <laughs> little dizzy trailed <laughs> trailed rapper little raw no this is <laughs> calm down with his pants down yeah. <laughs> that's how they be no bro. they be kind of giving it their own commentary <laughs> and spins they be like and if you read the diss track from 2015 no, <laughs> then you already know the back story but people just love people no, just really. love gossip just period so it don't matter if it's good gossip bad gossip no it's, it whatever. do matter the bad gossip is what they like the, the bad yeah the bad gossip not the good gossip that's, yeah. that's Bart yeah. who gives a fuck about Bart how good Do we know? care we about Sierra and Russell? No, no. But fuck no. Good guy stuff gets spread it too. Let somebody be like you, somebody having the baby, somebody get married, and, and don't know they try and keep it under wraps. That's the guy stuff. That's the good guy stuff. That, 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 that shit last for it a just day like, or two. That, that bad shit? That, yeah, that shit trouble. You hear about that shit all summer. Yeah. yeah. All winter. Why yeah, you man. think you say that one no to somebody? You say yes a hundred times. You say that one no? Damn, you don't think bro. that stuff get old down though fast? What? Like I don't feel like that people just like like say for instance if some some bad stuff happened or something happened to somebody I don't think that it'd be track it'd be so much shit going on that it's no, like no but they're all faster. Yeah, like, everybody you know why you know something another bad. thing too they on to the next bad shit that happened yeah that's the only shit. reason why, like, that's why I said so but, it's like it gets it's like you, but it, it's but there it, and then it ain't but it depends on what it is it should it is stain yeah. it is stigma time like it should be a stigma around you. You know what I mean? Like, we might not see, like, depending on how you... You, look, personally, guys, but I'm man. just seeing, like, as far as the internet and stuff like that. Like, they still, they be on there on it. Like, mm -hmm. like, like, look at Bow Wow, right? This man can't do nothing right. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Yo, he's a fuck? meme forever. Yeah, man. he's, a, like, and it's crazy, because this man, like, he's a he's a, he's a legendary hip-hop mm -hmm. artist, right? The type of status this man has. He, Movie he, star. He shouldn't be put in the, put, like, the, a lot of the shit that he, and you know what I mean, like, he gets himself into, like, it's really he, he should be above. Like you don't that. think he capitalizing off the memes though? Like you don't, think don't he feel like to, he know he, he he's a joke. This man is in a but sense like thing, he could get a lot of attention from that. But who what real nigga want to be it? Get money off of being a fucking joke. And you ain't a, a, a comedian. Who, who killed stamped him as a real nigga? No, what I'm saying, I mean, listen. <laughs> like, where did he get that at? I'm going to tell you, listen, no, listen, listen. Like you might not like what he, he like do. Nice you guy. might not like what he do, but his life is real. You know what I'm saying? He was a fucking a kid, a star, or whatever, and up until his adulthood. What is the definition he, of a real nigga? No, no, listen. What I'm saying is his life is real. Right? So, all right. He, can't, he don't do real nigga shit, so you can say he's not a real nigga, right? But we all have our moments. I feel like this nigga is stuck in a, you know, and like some type of fucking, you know, battle like with himself. Like he he should be content with he at, but I don't feel like he is. A lot he's of the shit that he's he does, he's, he's trying to beat. Yeah, the, he's trying to prove to the net. Yeah, and I don't understand. Like, can't beat that. He was principle. really that bull. Like I, I don't. He, he could have. You know, he could have kept it there. But this shit he doing. Y'all have to understand what? it. Which childhood star oh, that y'all know is a dope snail and not fucked up? Uh, Name Joe Paul, Paul, Kiki Romeo. Palmer. Kiki Palmer, Lil Romeo. It's a, all right, it's a uh, couple, hold, but hold, most hold of, uh, most Raven of them. Simone. It's something that nah, the bully fucked up a little nah, bit. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, really. We talking about like uh, she ain't like what's the other? She's a little odd. No, what's the young boy who was on the show? Uh, Orlando. That's fucked Listen, up. Listen, like, I feel that, like he got some truth in there though. It's no, but he still shit. got a drug addiction. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling y'all, when they be childhood star 
cars and stuff uh, like that, they be fucked up. And we all know this. We see this all the time. But, when they but I was fucked up, like, it seemed like morally. Like, his, like his moral cop is sometimes be like, <laughs> that shit be spinning. Like, you know... Like the shit he doing with the women. He's dropping with the, the album, bro. That's what I shit like that. He like to drop an yeah. album dedicated to all his exes, including Black China. What would be some? Real, I wouldn't even include Black, Black China. China. He got a I would have left that one alone. Yeah, he he, he talking about naming alone. the names bro. as the track list. That's and lame I guess the and shit, bro. Be. Them songs gonna be. Let not me tell you what would be bro. some G shit about that. Is if he got all the women that he named songs about on it. On it. He not. You see what I'm saying? That'd be some real G. That'd be like damn. I mean, that'll be some goat shit. Get them all they involved with the project. They confirming it. Yeah. You like, you got a tell all album. A that's what it seemed like, and that's his female. It's gonna shit. turn to an audible. Yeah, and listen. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gonna listen? I don't know what's in the water, but these niggas yeah. is different. Like, I really be feeling like, cause I really feel like the roses. No, nah, it's really really niggas out here just like that. Though. The roses really switching for a lot of yeah. stuff. Like, women is really bossing up, and niggas is really bitches bitches. Yeah, niggas bitches. Like, real yeah. shit. Like, 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 really like, 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 Bitches, bitches, like real yeah, shit. Like I really like it's panic. really bitches that's really out here like seeing that oh like that nigga my like that's my bitch like. Yo, so Lil Kim is supposed to have she wants Tiana Taylor to play her in a biopic. Yo, y'all for it? Oh yeah, hell yeah. Tiana Taylor looks too good yeah. to be playing Lil Kim. Man. Lil, Kim, Lil, Lil, Kim, Lil, Lil, Kim, Lil Kim look good. Lil Kim look good. Tiana, she used to look good, good. Well, and that's but where that's we what going. Are we going off? But she didn't look good like Tiana Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. Lil Kim. Lil for that Kim was a baddie back in the day. Yeah, sure. I'm saying she. Her back in the day, we didn't get our reins up yet. We about to have no. I'm not saying Tiana Taylor now. Lil' Kim at her prom. Not, bo- not body-wise, but face-wise, Kim- Lil' Kim had a nice-ass yeah. face. Like, she was cute. She but was cute. Yeah, she Tiana cute. Teller, I'm Tiana Teller. If Tiana Teller's body wasn't that nice. It, I think because she, she's so talented that make her bad to Yeah, she because, because just, listen. But, but that's the shit. thing now, though, too. That wasn't the thing back then. Just, you just had that. All you had to need was a nice shape back then. Right. Be a chisel and all that shit. Like, super, I don't super know. Shape. Tiana Teller's face is so dynamic. How are you going to play Lil' Kim? Like, she, I don't she understand. She the reason why it is look what I think she did the um the tribute to her and shit killed that shit. Oh, she did. Yeah, she I'm late. Like, like, I'm late. I should have saw that. And shit. Tiana Teller is so fucking versatile. I think that, I think she could do anybody. She like, do real, like, real, real right. That that is that girl. Yeah. Yo, I like her like she a lot. Dope. I fuck like with real right. You trust her acting skills? Yeah, yeah. I fuck with her. Yeah, she got. It. She solid, is. She's solid. very versatile. Bro, so y'all, anything, y'all check her for that. Any, anything, Yo, they better put anything the same she, anything she says she can bro, do, I'm, I'm all for it. Right. Right. Yeah, right. It better I'm be the right. same Biggie, man. Real right. Where they put a new Biggie? I'm checking out. You know, they got. Yeah, I'm they checking gotta out. The they gotta do the same. They gotta put Ice Cube on Biggie. Biggie. I'm checking yeah, out. <laughs> no, but I hate. Um, uh, like that's why. That's just like I hated the Tupac that played Tupac. Like it. Why? Like why? Like why did they pick? I didn't even see the Tupac movie. Yeah. Look wise, I was like, far as like similarities, that was you don't get damn near almost more perfect than that shit. Really? What? Pop? Oh, see, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. To me, that man looked like Pop. To me, that's no, the closest I've like ever him. seen. Like I don't know about. See, I didn't watch the movie. Well, he, I don't know how he yo, at. it's crazy because Pop, he got that light. Young boy had a light. He looked just like Pop. Yeah. But he ain't had that light, so it didn't feel See, that like. Come with acting that's too, right. No, that just that come light, with just bro. he just did. I don't know. He just didn't give me pop. Like Biggie yeah. just definitely gave me more so. Because Biggie Big is more so. The, no. the yeah, boy seemed cooler, cool cooler than Biggie. Actually, the boy seemed a little cooler than Biggie. Nah, bro. Like like Pac is 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 a dynamic ass. First of all, individual pair. Like his like and energy. You got to be able to match that. Right. You know that's what I mean. The light, bro. Yeah, but it it come, but like it come with acting too, though. Like just look at Jamie Foxx playing Ray Charles. Like you know what I'm saying. Like he, they killed that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's just like trying to get somebody roles, to play yeah. me. I don't think nobody would ever be. Able they gotta to watch me. you for thirty <laughs> hours. They gonna like, watch the whole ever. season of the. Um, <laughs> somebody out there for everybody. Like ever. Look, all that right there. Her sister, her sister can play her. Like she begged her sister to play her. Any one of them. Her mom could play her. Put a green screen and just make it look a little skinny. They could. That shit. Look, they don't gotta tell them gonna kill that. They gonna make that happen. I'm checking for that. I, I was just, I was just wondering. Yeah. I'm just like Tiana Taylor. Not that she a bad actor, just the look. I'm just. So like, who who would you nah, take the who would it. you take the one who played Lil Kim on the on the joint? She I don't mean, look like Lil Kim, but she she nailed it. Are you are you in tune with Tiana Taylor? Like yeah, I, I I really fuck with her, and she dumb talented, bro. You so gotta go watch. Like, she's very talented. Go, you gotta watch her tribute. You gotta watch. Her I gotta see that. Room. See, that's yeah, why I was lacking. She killed movement. All she had that shit down pat. Did she do this joint? Man, she 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 fucked that performance. Oh, up. be real, bro. Real shit, no, she fucked she up. She did it, and she had the. <laughs> no, oh no, she had the quiet song. She had the new, wait, she had the new face. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, no, she had that. She had that look. She gonna pull it off. Trust me. Bro. 
Yeah, I got to pull that off. And she got enough attitude already that she going to pull it off. She got that. Yo, should she rappers be fucking with Trump again, man? Huh? You see the pardons? You see what? the pardons? How many niggas he pardon? Lil Wayne, pardon Kodak Black. Oh, for real? He pardon the uh, CEO that's why Wayne, of, of look, Rockefeller. That's why niggas was mad at Wayne. I'm like, look, y'all can't be mad is at Trump me, cool man. With rapper? Is Trump cool if you're a rapper? Look, Listen, let me tell you something if about you Trump. If you ain't dig all the way into if you if you if you watch the news and stuff like that, and that's how you get your perception off of Donald Trump, mm -hmm. then... You shouldn't judge him anyway. I, I dig I dig I dig more deeper into just 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 how he move and how he is and I I ain't seen nothing wrong with him being president. I know a lot of people gonna hate me for saying that, but I would've yeah, rather him <laughs> I would have rather him off of Joe Biden because he's like a person he's very He's, you know, he's going to let you know what he's doing. Joe Biden is a little bit too unpredictable for me. And no, I don't he'll like let you know. He'll, you gonna, he's going to take a picture with your daughter and your son. And he's going to rub your son's ear. Exactly. <laughs> Real shit, though. And he's going to this, this, he put his hand in your daughter's shoulder. But, they, but shit, this though. is who they wanted to be president. Somebody, Real shit, though. But that's why it's like one of them things where it's though people just a uh, Donald Trump hater. But they don't never, nobody never really dug into the shit that this man did when he in, was in the office. On some real shit, bro. But all these niggas is on the same so, team. They've not. They yeah, really I don't give a fuck is. about. They really give is. A fuck about. No, 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 I don't care either. Nigga. Yo, listen. We've never on some real shit. We've never thrived under under a presidency due to the whoever was in office. They all got the same bloodline. We've they all got the same bloodline. Yeah, well, listen, fuck them all. The like, if, if I'm talking about motherfuckers who are in position of power, they have not done anything to really, like, propel us forward. And the reason why they owe us that is because they've been the motherfuckers who've held us. Who have, they're responsible for the position that we're in now, right? And a lot of people won't agree with that because they say, you know, we make our yeah. own decisions. Man, fuck that. No, they Historically, they fucked us over so bad in the beginning, they made it harder for us to get to the point. And, and, we, and, we, and we made it through a lot of shit. If you know your history, I ain't even gonna touch on that. We, to get here, where we at, mm -hmm. as black people, colored people, whatever you wanna call us, we went through a lot. We 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 made it through a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like and we, and, and we and we still standing regardless of how imperfected how imperfect imperfect imperfected we are. Like you know what I'm saying? Uh uh we like we we still got our fucking souls intact for the most part. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't we ain't holding meetings and shit and uh, you know with thousands of us talking about how we can just unleash a fucking murder spree on on white America. Like you know what I'm saying? Like we ain't putting our money together. To, to 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 for their detriment. Like let's let's see we let's put this thing together. This we don't even want no issues with the with, you know what I mean with these motherfuckers who hate us. You know what I'm saying? Like they, after all of that we still don't. You know that says a lot about us. But the I'm, position that we in right now is, is solely because of the shit that they did when they brought us over here. You know what I mean? How we get out of that is up to us. It ain't I don't give a fuck who in president. Like I mean who in who in who in office? Like no president has done nothing for us. So, I don't hate Donald Trump. I don't give a fuck about him enough to hate this man. <clears throat> I just like, felt fuck like him. that. You know what I mean? And fuck every president before him. My bad. Yeah. And after. Because ain't nobody going to do what's right by us. I under, and I do understand that. I don't think that we even need no governmental system. I don't fuck think... Him. I think all that shit should be crumbled down. But I feel like that when he was in office, my personal thing, he brought a light to reality and what was really going on. Right, and real, real shit. Because I didn't see it before. It wasn't right there. We didn't here, know that was possible. We, yeah, right. Yeah. We yeah. didn't. Real shit. Uh, what, for, for, uh, for a nigga to act like that? Man, you got... No, oh, not even like, that. No, I'm no. not saying that. I'm saying he brought light to what's really going on in the but world. Like, a too, lot nigga. of, like, the... the, the Pedophilia stuff like stuff that was it was people that knew about it, but it was a lot of people but that you, didn't know. Didn't bring that I, I, I give you, I give you, because he was a you, president bringing light to that. Cool. You're crazy. There's people out here every day. I never heard him call nobody no pedophile. I never I mean, heard him say that word ever. That whole, that whole thing with that. You know, he called niggas out. Thing. He'll say fake news and all. I never heard him say, "Oh, that guy is a pedophile," because he probably won too, nigga. You tripping? Probably, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying why I'm real okay. shit. But I just know I learned, a, I learned a lot about a lot that was going on in the high. world. And let me piggyback off what you're saying because he did help us realize. It's like we see presidents really try to actually button it up over the years. Yeah. This the first nigga who kind of let that shit, shit loose a little bit. Yeah. Tell the bitch come massage me and shit, smoke a cigar. You know what I mean? Let his niggas out of jail. No, that was yeah, refreshing. I mean, he said, fuck these niggas. We might go to war with these <laughs> niggas. You know but, 
mean, he's the some, first nigga. On some, in our generation, though, yeah. not the first, though. Yeah, that we've seen. Think about and this. When years. you think about how bad Donald Trump is, Donald Trump was, right? Like, when you trying to say he like the worst No, I ain't say he was. Not, not, not us. I'm just, because you know, he revealed out here like, he's the, saying, No, we said he revealed that. You got motherfucking presidents. Think, nigga, think about what kind of president uh, Rose George Rose. Washington was, nigga. Yeah. Like, the founding father. Like, slave the time nigga. Come on, like these niggas own slaves. Like, when you try to call this man the worst president we ever had, like, think about, right. like, Lyndon B. Johnson called the fucking, the civil rights bill the nigga bill. Like, the, the president. Like, that was in the 60s. He called the shit the nigga bill. Like, you know what I mean? So, presidents before, like, the 70s and that all of that vibes. shit. No, they was openly, like, ain't give a fuck. Hey, I was open because that's the majority. Now they gotta be quiet. Yeah. So now, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, no, what back I'm saying then that was like, the norm. They like, oh, some niggers. Yeah, I'm, they they didn't give a fuck about that. When that I, so when vibes, I say like, think about like, like how much you hate Trump. Like, think about it. It's been motherfuckers who held that seat. I don't, hate, I don't like, hate nobody. No, nah, no, nah, these motherfuckers. You got people that hate. I, I hate how look. Nah, I don't give a fuck about them. I hate how you look. You ain't doing that for me until somebody signed a reparations bill. For African Americans, like, oh, shit. then I don't give a fuck about what these what these motherfuckers is talking about. I pay attention because I want to know what's going to affect me. But most of that shit don't, don't mm -hmm. that shit don't trickle down. That's bars. Um, Ice Cube got like a little movement going there. I, I fuck, I fuck with him. You fuck with him? I fuck with him. I fuck with him. I was about to say he got like a little movement going on there. It's called Black. He trying to do Black America. Which yeah, the contract with Black America. He's saying like, he what's Black America? It's where it's though. It's it's basically it's basically a movement where it's though it's like. We want we want what y'all got. Like we want when we come in there, we get jobs and stuff. We want the same pay as y'all. Like we want. At the end of the day, we're not even fighting to even be better than white people. None of that. We're fighting to be equal. That's all. And that's what black the thing that when he is about the black America thing. Fuck like equal, a, bro. I think they need to make it because we built different. We need to sum a certain type of way. We move a certain type of way. We get a certain amount of shit. We need our space to do our shit comfortably the way we do it. Y'all get y'all space. It don't gotta be equal. It's not gonna never but be that way. We so let us, diverse. Let us, we, we so let mixed us, up now. Let us you, shine, like, bro. You got, That's it. You got this new you got, you know what I'm saying? It's like we our families is already mixed up where yeah, so we're never gonna be able to separate like Hip hop like, fuck that up. We gotta separate. No, that would have never happened. Let us have room, bro. It'd have never happened. Give us room, bro. Hip hop fuck hip hop fucked that idea up. Like anybody who was wishing for that. Hip hop fucked that up. These these racist ass motherfuckers who are alive right now, they great grandkids. They 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 grandkids now love us. Mm. They they got babies by us. They That's marrying what I'm us. Saying, they, like, they, they they love us. They love the culture. They they, now, they to, drawing to us. That like, that'll never happen. Good. And we're welcoming. But if like, everybody, but like, if everybody was got equal, everybody right got the same same. But we can't be equal as weird as shit. Don't make sense. White people, no, we, white people burn in the sun, bro. So say we get equal so time in the sun. I'm just saying, bro. If we get no, equal amount about, of time in the sun, it don't make sense. I'm, I'm just saying just we need to man. live different, bro. Like we know no, we that's, up that's, we live. that's up to us, though. We can't. They I can't do that, that for us. No, but they be fucking our situations up. No, no. They try to fuck our situations. Today tomorrow, you can pack your family up. Y'all can get on a plane and y'all can shoot to a whole other country and start and get it out the mud. If it's really that bad. If what I'm like saying that. is, if you're going to play that game, it's rules to play in this game. Facts. These rules and these laws and these regulations have been set up by them hundreds of years ago. So if we're going to play this game, right, we got to we gotta play this game and finesse this game mm -hmm. for our betterment. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Get what we can get out of it and then su and supply that shit for ourselves. Okay. They're, they're, that's not gonna happen. They're never gonna oh, say, shit. huh, this feel. is for y'all. And we've never... Yeah, at, that's why like, it's crazy to think of that equal shit. That equal shit never happened. Yeah, we talking about citizenship. If you gonna be a cit like if you gonna be a citizen of Philadelphia, mm -hmm. equals you need equal citizenship. You right. should not be treated differently because you're a Mexican, black, or white. And we know that that's not the case. I was looking, you know I was saying? researching, and you want to know where they said that? Um, it was a lot of it was a they had did a research and they said ex black men. What was the best place, like all over the world? Where was the best place to live? And a lot of people said Sarah Paul. A lot of black men move over Sarah Paul because they said in Sarah what Paul. Is it? I don't even know where exactly where it's at. Yo, and Sarah and Sarah yeah, Paul. Look, that look Sarah Paul. Up. <laughs> and Sarah, no, and Sarah Paul. They said that that's where that's the only place in the world where they feel like that everybody gets treated equal, no matter if you black, white, nothing. Like you, everybody mm. get treated just like a human. Yeah, you get I'm treated like sure a human. Women are sure it's more places. You gotta travel, like you know what I mean. Yeah, you just gotta travel though. But that yeah, was like I mean, one of the main places Sarah that they said you just feel like a person there. They true. said it's more crime, and they said there's no crime and stuff over there. Neither. They said it's more really more crime against women, and that's like sometimes women might get that's like, weird as shit. All these yeah, places yeah. be 
real shit. women dirty yeah, shit. That's, that shit is y'all right know because this we we, we where everything stemmed from. No, so y'all know that. they had to really turn y'all against us, and then they do it was against us. Nigga, do you see the game like over history, bro? Every culture tries to hold the pussy, right? Mm. And keep that shit locked. Mm. Somehow. We, but but these niggas I ain't gotta say all countries though. These niggas. Because we was out there snatching people. They was out there they'll snatching make, souls with that job. That's less, why. They talk about how less women are than us, but they'll start a fucking war. They done started wars done been started over over women. Nigga, they kill Like how women. how unimportant is Hey, like our women, if y'all niggas is willing to, y'all them niggas took countries to war, dog. About, about females. Bro, shit, and it'd be so shit. crazy, but niggas really you be trying like point, down by they bitches, though. Man. They always try like they we don't love, love us. Bitches, y'all really love y'all bitches. Just start acting like y'all love y'all bitches. Nah, y'all nigga, know y'all love it. They do. Y'all love it here. These niggas show they love a little different now. She said, here, hold on. Y'all love it there. Y'all love it there. Just go home. They love a little too uh, hard nowadays, man. Nah, they just, but but it's weird that they love a girl and want to control the whole situation with women. Keep them, keep them calm so they're not out here living their potential and shit. But at the same time, want to take women out the Bible and say like Father, Son, Holy Ghost and shit like that. Different vibes like the man is this. I do and the woman really, but the this. thing about it is, I feel like that. I do feel like that. I don't think that women can just, be, it could just be a world full of women. Of no, course, we need y'all, but no. y'all bring us balance. No. I feel like that men bring us balance. No, that's a fact. That's a, that's a, that is a fact. It men definitely and women is like, are the balance. It, it, we definitely, you know we definitely yin yang. Yeah, like, balance. we need each other. Like, real shit. It, like, it's that shit, man. Duality, is that it? Like, yeah. black and white, the contrast. Yin it's yin all is good and bad, nigga. Yeah. Bro, good shit. and evil. Um, I, I heard a quote. Um, I don't want to fuck it up. But, all right, so I'm gonna paraphrase him, right? But it basically was saying, um, the problem is not that it's evil in the world. The problem is that it's good, because otherwise, who would care? Mm. Now, my my, uh, wow. like think about that, right? If everybody was bad, bad, hey, if if smoking shit was a fucking a norm, like. It wouldn't be, you know, you wouldn't be like, oh, you, oh, oh, wait, evil. you murdered Tommy today? No, yeah, like, <laughs> just like that, just yeah, like no, that. Bro. But because it's good, motherfuckers, you know, what I mean, we can see the contrast. The contrast, like, so you have, mm -hmm. you have a, you have a, a opposite of of what that is. So now it's a problem. You know, what I mean, it's like sunny days wouldn't be special if it wasn't for rain. You wouldn't find sunny day, like you would not yearn. Damn, I, it would be gloomy too, like that gloomy and I all those like, things. If I it was always. Like Sorry. But no, I feel like that we all have good and bad in us, and it just like sometimes one overpower the other. Yeah, we we may we all made with both, yeah, cause right. it's like just as much as we could be the goodest person, we we all know how to be a, a motherfucker. Why Everybody, you think we have so it just went over. Oh shit! It just went overpower. We born innately knowing like right from wrong at the at the at the, 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 the core. What right or wrong is like we all have that for the most part. I guess you got some motherfuckers. But no, that even that? my even psychotic motherfuckers know right from wrong. That's why they hide what they do. Otherwise, you'll just kill whoever. You know what I'm saying? But the question is, how do we really even know what's right and wrong? We only know what was told to us that well, was right and wrong. Well, right and wrong and is what we look, see as well. This is my thing. Right and wrong is is a, nobody tells you how to feel about something, right? So naturally, if you know you see your mother get her fucking head blew off, and it doesn't bother you, like then you you know what I'm saying you different, cause nobody has to tell you to cry mm -hmm. when your feelings is hurt. Like you know what I'm saying that's how you know when something when something is wrong. And that, and if the majority feels like that, then we deem that wrong. Right. That's wrong because it don't make us feel good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit, it gives us a fucked up. Feeling. So what about so, them? What about them devious people who it, it it makes them feel good to hurt and harm? They still know it's wrong. Otherwise, like I just said, they wouldn't hide their hands. I actually right. thought you, you was about like a ba like a job. baby don't know right from wrong to a you know in the very beginning. That's mm -hmm. why they grab you, scratch you, pull that mm -hmm. shit. They'll do anything. Right. And they won't. You know what I mean? Pop, pop. They laugh. Yeah, knock some shit over that, throw they cut when they done. Mm -hmm. They don't wait for you to not be looking to act up because mm -hmm. this is their natural you right. know, reactions. Right. But I want to piggyback you know? off what you were saying, right? So about the contrast shit, right? Yeah. Why you think they grandkids love our music, right? Because it's the contrast. They grow up in they household with they culture and shit. You know I, what I mean? They, they see our shit, bro. Yeah. And it's like, they this love is our the music, world though. I want to live in. But they love our music. Right. Like the love is for us has always been there. That's why they, that's where the hate come from. Like you know they what I'm saying? hate like, that they love us so much. You, you wouldn't still like you look how much shit they stole from us. Look at all the patented ideas and shit. Look at all the, 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 the like we, we, we really like push civilization forward in a major way. So when you invent the toilet and, and all kind of other shit that, that 
You know what I'm saying? That civilized civilization, and they take credit for it. And they take credit for it, or they, or 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 they, they, they like they praise us to the point it turns into envy. Mm-hmm. Like these well, motherfuckers, they got, they like, got these skills. They stole our music. No, like, they got, think about it. Like, but bro, who knew to do that? These niggas got a certain skill, right? Where they like, yo, if we erase these niggas' history, yeah. then a hundred years down the line, they just take a certain amount. But of evil. Like, we, we possess that same ability. Well, I don't but feel we like don't have we the, even tap into that shit. We, that's what I'm you saying. What I'm saying? That we're too busy being great. Like you know what I'm saying? Put like trying to figure out how can we like. They we said we take the more. black man out the home. Yeah. <laughs> the kids might be more like, susceptible to drugs. Bro, and shit. Bro, shit. Like no. these niggas on that level, bro. Mm-hmm. That's why they above us as far as standing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where we standing at? We don't listen. They don't, above us because they thought a hundred years ahead of torture, bro. We don't possess. We don't possess that type of. We don't possess the the the, the thirst for dominance the way that they do. You see what I'm saying? Like so so as far as being above us, they're above us in the and depra- like when it comes to like just the energy. Think about how energetic you gotta be to 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 to, to like see a motherfucker and rumble him every day. But uh, at some point, you're gonna be like, man, listen, I ain't trying to do this shit. The fuck? They do not stop. Mm-hmm. Until, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't have it. They'll bang out. It's They'll more crash. barbaric. More barbaric. Facts. In a, in a way. You're not on real mean, shit. But one of them things where though they got that shit so figured out where is though. That's crazy, bro. They got it they got us figured out to the point where though from the time that they we're know born, to study us, nigga. From the time that we're yeah, born. Who they, they got that from? They, 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 from they, the time when we're first born, <clears throat> they stick a needle in our foot and they know from that sticking that needle in our foot, all the all the babies get it, they know exactly they know exactly who we are and kind of who we gonna be before we even fucking know. Before our parents know, know. we be My figuring kids. that shit out. We be figuring that shit out. <laughs> but that's listen. They <laughs> know from the. Why they, you think you don't know your blood type? You know your blood type. I know mine's now. What is it? Is is O negative? Is that the good John? Did that sound good? Yeah, I got I got like a rare one, but not the very rare one. But a man, you know your blood type. I don't, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know my blood type. You know you got paid to get that information. I think it's old. I See, know. I, and you know they only they gave me mine because I had gave blood. I gave blood before. I ain't this before. Me too. I, but I still ain't But I gave shit. blood before. But I, but when I was there, I did X. But yeah, so it's like one of them things where it's though it's like, I, and let me tell y'all something. I don't read on some shit. I meditate. I really get DNA downloads when I want to. Start really getting knowledge and stuff like that. I really, met, I really get there and they downloads. I don't read like that, but it's to the point where it's though they, when when you're first born, like you just think about the kids who they just all worry try try to push the mother to put their kids on medicine and stuff like that. They be knowing them they certain kids. Again, they be knowing them certain kids is gonna be special. Yeah. It's gonna be special kids, and they're gonna be rebelling. So they already trying to put you on the medicine to already fuck them up to get them labeled as fucked up. So when they start talking about spirituality and stuff like that, DNA downloads and stuff like that, everybody looking at them like they crazy because they already labeled them as this from the time that they started school. That's like real what shit. About. That's like, their real skill, shit. Bro. That's their skill. They they, skill, they do bro. that shit from the time we're fucking born. Like, look, that we'll, shit look, is crazy. Our people, right, we'll study something to learn how to heal it. Right. To learn how yeah. to understand it. These niggas, it these niggas, like, we need to learn it so we can take it apart and make sure it don't get in our way. Real shit. You know but, what I mean? Alright, so, so this is my thing, though. They just, they using what, like, if we civilize them, mm. like, if you believe the Moors civilize them, like, we civilize them twice, right? Then we taught them what they know, right? They just using it. In a different they, way. It's nothing that they, they can't, they mm-hmm. not. They, listen, it ain't a motherfucker walking this earth. It ain't a race of people walking this earth that's more superior than than, than us, whether it be mentally or, or physically. Period. Like, or spiritually. I'm, like, we either, either we, either we, we equal or we dominant. I, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. That's what I said. Because if we want to talk about, you know, the, the mind and like real, like real geniuses and shit it. like that, they... You wouldn't spend so much time hiding how genius we are if if it wasn't if, if like you know what I'm saying like it's a lot of motherfuckers yes. that we probably would never know about that yes. did astronomical things yes. but because we did it no nah, we don't want them seeing that mm-hmm. how would they you feel know if they, they find out that it was somebody a hundred times smarter than Einstein but this is the man who was the smartest man in history like you, you know what I mean like they show us that, what they want us to see and not to take none away from him because he didn't put his image in our face mm-hmm. like this is what they you know what I'm saying 